first of all, this is a workaround, but it's so good that it's almost a feature. John came up with this. And by the way, if you are not subscribed to his newsletter, you should. You'll find the link in the description below. If you like Evernote, you have to be subscribed. It's one of the best news. I I'd say it's the best newsletter about Evernote out there. Anyway, like I said, this is a workaround, but rest assured that many experts, he is, I am, many of us, we are asking Evernote, constantly asking them to create some sort of pop out of the task kingdom, the space where all tasks live. No official word from them yet, but we are constantly asking and constantly reminding them that this is a good idea. Okay. Let's take a look at this workaround, which is a pretty good one. As you can see here, these are my notes, but right here behind this, there's another window with all my tasks. And as you can see, this is a web client, but don't, don't leave just yet because this is a good, a good one, a good workaround. So every page on Evernote's uh, web client has a, a specific address. So this one is client web uh, hashtag task. If we move to, let's say, home, you can see that it moves. So notes, each one has its own address. So notebooks, let's go back to tasks here. So all you have to do is save this address or you can do better if you are a Chrome user, you can go to cast, save and share and even create a shortcut to this page. But what I want to show you is how, uh, how powerful this page is because look, I have here my task selected, but if I change it to, let's say I, I constantly use notes instead of my tasks. So if I select this, now this address will always open this page here. It will not open my task. So let me show you. If I copy this and I open a note tab here and paste it here, see, it opens a note. Whatever you choose here, for example, if you are, if you prefer to see the notebooks list, you can now open here. Of course, the last one you used will be uh, memorized by the app. So before closing the window, remember to go back to what you usually use. Okay. Now let's go to, uh, let's close this. Let's, let me show you how quick this is, even though this is a web page and then this is the app. And of course this will work if you prefer to use Evernote online. All you have to do is open two tabs and separate them and create two windows. Okay. So let's do something like this. For example, let's make this half the screen. And this, the other half, now let's shrink this a little bit here. Okay. Let's move to my tasks here. And this one here, contact him is this, is this is the same task. Okay. So let's click here. I'm not going to edit this and see how long it takes. Okay. That's completed pretty fast. <laughs> let's uncheck that. Okay. Let's make that. I think it's, I think it's fine, right? It's just, I, 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 I don't know, a couple of seconds, maybe two, one, two or three th seconds. It's pretty cool. And keep asking Evernote, we'll do our part. You can do your part. I think it, we should have a, a real uh, tasks window, but I think, I also think that this works pretty well. If this was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you soon.